What's up guys, Frostblade here, back with another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own automatic sugarcane farm. Now, you could make this as, you can make as many of these as you want, but it has to be some length, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, so let's get right into the video, so first off, I'm pretty sure I, can, I counted this before, and I'm pretty sure you need to place glass or any block really there. So it's 17 blocks long. Oh, actually, I should tell you what you need. So for this, you're going to need glass, sand, water bucket, cobblestone, redstone dust, an observer. Piston, a hopper, and sugarcane. That's kind of the most important part of a sugarcane farm. So, once you've placed the glass on the outside, around here, then you can place this sand in here. And what about here and a water bucket here. So now you'll see there's one steel lock here. So we'll destroy that and place hopper. Actually, I'll tell you what to do with that later. So next thing we're gonna do is place a row of cobbles, two rows of cobblestone. It looks high. Once you've done that, you're going to want to place one row of pistons. Now you want to place it at the close to the back of the block because if you do it at the front of the close to the front of the block, never mind. Yeah, if you're too close to it, then it will just do that. So. After your row of what are they could again pistons, you're gonna place a row uh, of yeah observers. So the arrow is facing away from where the sugar cane's gonna be. So just quickly do that. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to put cobblestone, or any block, behind all the pistons. Once you've put all the cobblestone behind all the pistons, you're going to grab redstone dust and Yeah, like that, so it's attached to all that. Now, once you've done that, as you can see, there's the center block. So we are going to quickly go in here and grab a chest. This is this chest? We're going to put it right here. So, just quickly block up this bit of water. And you're going to put this block and this block. Grab, then you want to grab your hopper, shift, and place it on there. As you can see, if I get angle, yeah, the little nozzle bit, yeah, I just show you. You want it so that, um, so that that bit there is facing the block you want you want to put it into. Okay, I want to get the block up, and you want to get back here, and now shift and click it so it's going into that hopper. And you can break these two blocks now. 
And as you can see, if I were to um, okay, I'm gonna just need to build. I'll show you what I was saying before after, but you just need to build this glass up to the height of the observer. Now that that's done, what you want to do is come down to the sugar cane, to the sand, and place the sugar cane on all the pieces of sand. Now, you need to make sure that there's flowing water or water in general next to the um, sand that the, you're going to be placing the sugar cane on because that's just how Minecraft works. And I've already got a couple that have gone up. Just so you know, my the reason it's happening so well is because my... Okay, there you go. You saw that. And there. Now. We have sugar cane. So that is how you make a sugar cane farm. So, yeah. Just throw an item. You can see the hopper picked it up. And it's in here. Um, it'll be a little bit slower for you. Um, that's because my game tick speed. The... In game rule slash game rule render tick speed 100 I'm pretty sure I set mine to yeah I set mine to 100 for this video just so it happened faster um but the default tick speed is 3 so that's why mine's going super fast so yeah after an hour you can get I don't know a lot of sugar cane so I guess if you're making books you can make plenty of books look, look how fast it's already happening anyway that I am pretty sure is all you will need Build it. Uh, I guess you could, you know, just. Oh my god, somebody says choose from. I guess you could just grab this and then boot and. Um, and just make a doorway so you can go inside and collect any of the couple pieces that don't go into the don't fall off into the water. Now it's not so it's not a hundred percent accurate. Oh my god. It's not a hundred percent accurate, like efficient, but it's good for what you want to do. And I guess you could put a roof on if you really wanted to. Just so I don't know, nothing falls in from the top. I don't know. I'm gonna control you. Anyway. I think that is about it for the video. So, if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check out all my other videos. I make a bunch of other tutorials and mods and all that sort of gameplay. Um, and tomorrow or next weekend, not sure yet, but I might be making a survival world 
then I've got some another tutorial coming up soon as well about piston doors and also how to put data packs into Minecraft because most people don't really know how to put data packs into Minecraft. So if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like, comment down below what you want me to do in a video in the future, any thing you want me to do to help with and yeah share it to all your friends make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching goodbye